Hey everyone, Billy from LM Cases here, and today we are going to take a look at our D3P power distro. So a bit of a unique distro for us in our three-phase power distro family. Um, again, if you're uh, not familiar with other members of the three-phase power distro family, uh, check out the upper right-hand corner of your screen and the link below uh, to check out our D3.1 and our D3.2. So I know the next question that you're going to ask, Billy, what does the D3 mean? Well, D for distro, three for three phase and p because this one has power cons on the back that's right um so we had a customer request to build this actually um there was a customer that asked us to modify our d32 distro so that it had power cons on the back and i thought hmm that's unique why don't we just offer that as a product? So we did. So we'll take a look at the front panel here. So input L2130 as is per normal. Um, and I know what you're thinking, why not an L2120? Well, <laughs> uh, I do like to keep everything in, uh, in, the, in the 2130 format. Um, it uh, is very standard across most companies. Most people just kind of use that as a generic catch-all of a 2130. Um, because of that, uh, we do have breakers that are 20 amp because, as you know, a, uh, a power con connector is only rated for 20 amps. So it does step this down to uh, 20 amps if needed. Well, I shouldn't say step down, but it, it won't let you uh, exceed a 20 amp load, even though 30 amps are available to you here. Now, that being said, everything we have here at LM is built per order from the cases down to the distro. So if you do want a 20 amp inlet, we can do that for you because they are the same size. Anyway, L2130 input, three LED lights right here for X, Y, and Z to let you know that there's power at each leg. Uh, there is a looped output on this. Um, this is wired pre-breaker. Um, so that if you do want to loop these together, you can. So the breakers being tripped here will not affect the, uh, the amp racks down the line. Um, I've gone back and forth on how to do that. Um, some, some days it makes sense to me to wire this post breaker, uh, and uh, other days it makes sense pre. I, I always ask customers how they'd want it wired, and, and 9 out of 10 times most people say I want this pre-breaker so that if you lose a leg, you only lose one rack. You don't lose everything down, uh, or I should say at least because of a popped breaker. Um, the biggest defender for that oftentimes are subs. Um, if, you, uh, if your subs take a big hit, you can momentarily exceed 20 or 30 amps, whatever, this, whatever your breaker du jour is rated for, and then you lose all your amp racks down down that leg post um so you know you got to go through all your racks and put your put your breaker back on which is why we make the d32 distro so that it has a dedicated 30 amp outlet if you want to check that video out again i have to plug all of our other videos on ln um so anyway inlet outlet uh we do have a courtesy outlet on the front this is wired to the z leg um this gives you a uh uh, this is a, a Leviton T5633 uh, outlet. Um, it gives you two 20-amp uh, Edisons on here. It also gives you USB-C and USB-A for charging. And it has a dedicated 5-amp uh, dedicated pop breaker over this so that if you do something dumb, uh, it doesn't wreck everything that's plugged into the back of it. Um, again, these are hydraulic breakers. These are Airpax hydraulic breakers. I like these a lot. They uh, are very obvious when they popped. Sometimes with the Square D stuff and the Siemens stuff, it, it, you can't really tell that it's popped, but with these, um, you get this big white indicator right here that it's popped. So, you know, if you lose a phase and it, you know, your distro looks like that, you immediately know, oh no, everything is back. So looking in the back, power cons. You have two power cons per leg. So 2X, 2Y, 2Z. Again, not really super crazy here as far as, as was what the back of it looks like. Um, more oftentimes, there are just Edisons on the back of here, um, on the back of this, or as in our D32, there's a uh, L530, and there's also a true one on the back. But this is just power cons. Again, customer request, and I thought, hmm, this is interesting. Let's make it a product. So 
If you have any questions on this particular distro or anything else LM related, be it LM cases or LM Tor systems, which is the uh, integrated power cabling branch of LM, please just send me an email, billy at lmcases.com. If you're interested in buying this distro, there is a link in the description below. You can check that out on lmcasesonline.com or to further your daily consumption of LM content, uh, check us out on Instagram, LM underscore cases. Uh, I do try to get that updated a little bit more. Um, it's a little easier to do than these kind of videos. So if you wanna see the daily goings on here of LM, uh, just check that out or smash that like and subscribe for our Instagram, LM underscore cases. Anyway, thanks so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you guys watching these videos. Catch you on the next one, bye.